small commentary community. The field for the dumpster fire that is the commentary community is a well-known shithole that consists of 12 year olds acting like they're the most mature people on earth because they put a full stop when talking in tags or calling people groomers because that is the most epic prank of the century. This community also likes to debate politics. Yes, we have children debating about politics on the internet when they could have done something worthwhile rather than talking about how a man in a suit he is bad or going out of their way to harass people for their identity to get the attention that they never got from their parents. Being in the small commentary community is like listening to a crying child but this time there are 50 of them and it gets progressively louder and louder until you become deaf. But instead of crying about not getting milk, they're crying about how a YouTuber is cringe. Or getting mad over little things such as TikToks which is the equivalent of making a Reddit video in 2022 and woman. The term leafy clone is the best one to use for these types of people but unfortunately that term is so overused to the point where the meaning is lost because of people thinking that talking over gameplay means you love leafy. Leafy clones fit for most of them not because they talk over gameplay but because they try to unsuccessfully bring back 2016 by talking about how gay and cringe tiktoks are. Their definition of 2016 is about making bland content and barely doing anything to spice things up. I have no big issues with this type of content but after seeing many other channels pop up and do the exact same thing that the other guy did just with a different voice, it can get really fucking repetitive. However, I'm not here to talk about this small commentary community, mainly because a lot of channels have already made videos on this same topic. I would do that and jump on bandwagons like the NPC I am, but for now, I'll keep that on hold because there is something else that is worth mentioning. Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you Child Commentator number 621. Toad is Forgotten is a small commentator, just like me. He's also a child, just like me. And I'm pretty sure he's also American. I am not American. Toad is a special commentator because it's not often that you see people making commentary videos on gay porn. It's also not very often that you see people making videos on it twice. This is why the small commentary community is one of the most respected communities on YouTube because of gems like this. What I like about Toad is the fact that he thought the first video was such a banger that he went ahead and remastered it. When I said that I was hoping for some good change in the community, this is not what I meant. The only good thing about these two videos is the fact that they're more bearable to watch than eGamer's recent content change where he for some reason thought it was a groundbreaking idea, a great idea to switch to face cam very early in his career. Toad is Forgotten is a hidden gem, but the gem is fake and is made out of plastic while hidden in the backyard of a serial killer in Ohio. This man is who I consider to be the William Shakespeare of the small commentary community. Just like William Shakespeare, he makes videos on Minecraft Rule 34. Yo, what is up, everybody? Welcome back to my brand new video. I'm not doing the fucking leafy intro. So, guys, today we're gonna talk about how Rule 4 is cringe. So, as you can see, guys, this is reason number one. It's weird. Number two, it's cringe. Number three, death is imminent. I genuinely despise these types of videos, not because I like the content that they're shitting on, no, that's not what I'm talking about, con. It's the fact that these videos are pointless because in a lot of these videos talking about Rule 4, they will add little to nothing. Yes, we know that Minecraft Rule 4 is bad. Yes, we also know that people are weird for liking sexual content involving square people. Now what? If anything, these videos serve nothing more than a gateway for people to look up that kind of shine and give them attention for their art. This is also the reason why Jaden Animation didn't speak out about the art being made about them under Rule 24 because it will attract people to look them up. So really, there isn't anything good to come out of these videos. Yes, they serve as entertainment, but holy balls. This is as hollow as making commentary videos on cringe TikToks. Now I'm done talking about his videos where he talks about... <clears throat> and Minecraft Ultra D4. Surely there won't be any more obscure topics. What the fuck is wrong with you? What people find entertaining 
is subjective and I'm completely fine with people who like these videos. They might have some sort of brain damage but it's fine, it's subjective. For some reason, Toad has this strong urge to cover NSFW topics. These kinds of videos do not entertain me at all and I'm sure people that isn't me agree as well. The story times are just the icing on the cake but instead of cake, it's dog shit and the icing is red poison. Only small commentary channels will make a video about how they talk to a woman and make it out like some sort of a historical moment. Aside from the degenerate stuff, another issue is how he makes these short little funny videos that last for 2 minutes like this woman video. It's a rant and it gets his points across. The point being that he doesn't like the woman and the woman is cringe and bad. How insightful. The problem isn't about the duration, I couldn't care less if the video was 5 seconds long or 10 hours long. As long as it has entertainment value and good content, I will watch. This is why Nate Nation, while making videos below 6 minutes, are still well received. This is because he doesn't rely on degenerate topics and his videos feel complete while being short. My problem isn't with making shit posts either, I've got no problem with that. In fact, I do them too. The problem is that you make a shit post and then you make 2 or 3 videos of her when you can have much all of this into one. The shit post now serves zero purpose because you already made a real rant. It will have been much better if it was all in one video. It will also improve the overall entertainment value and the content of the video by adding more to it. It will also make it seem slightly less half ass. Oh wait, I'm being too genuine. My bad guys, what I meant was that he's the Albert Einstein of small talk. A reoccurring theme with most small commentators including Toad is that they like to neglect the usage of scripts entirely. I'm pretty sure Toad uses script now. But uh, I'm not saying that these people should use scripts just because the one and only, the representative of the child community, fractional voice, say that if you have well thought out and well structured points without having the need to write essays, you're perfectly fine. But the thing is, you have none of this. This is something that a lot of commentators suffer from. They will say shit like scripts are so bad and cringe while making points that have the same amount of structure as a collapsed building. I repeat points more often than the number of times I said brain dead when I first joined commentary. But of course, they will pull the self-aware card because according to some people in the community, being self-aware means it's okay to do that. Calling yourself a leafy clone and acknowledging that you're repeating your points when you should have just cut that out in the first place makes you immune to any type of criticism and makes it a-okay to do that. This is similar to people defending Rimzi when he gets criticized for hypocritical points like cheating on topic commentators while being a topic commentator himself or repeating points to the point where the video becomes a recording of a man rambling about small things in front of a surf gameplay. No amount of poor excuses can save you from having still content. Being self-aware does not shield you from criticism. It's like me saying it's okay that I brutally decapitated and dismembered an old man on the street because I was being self-aware about it. Another reoccurring theme with most small commentators, especially, especially Toad, is that he won't shut the fuck up about his content and will ask people about their thoughts on it. It's understandable when he asks about it for the first time, but when you keep seeing him ask the same thing in tweets, YouTube comments, Discord servers and DMs, it will make you want to blow your fucking head off. I will go on and elaborate on this, but I have better things to do. So I will pass this on to a fine British gentleman whom I will not insult just for this video. Before I start this banging segment of the Fractional Void Upload, which will probably be in 50 years, let, let's all be honest, wait a minute. I'm pretty sure Void said I couldn't slander him. Oh shit. Also guys, Void definitely didn't hold me at gunpoint to make me make this video. Definitely not. He held me at knife point. But as the Fractional Void video showed, we'll be talking about the greatest creator. Toad is forgotten. I would say he stole the idea from me, but uh... I'm on the video, right? Now, Toad normally does this very annoying thing called shilling. And by shilling, I don't mean <laughs> by my math. No, alright. No more Breaking Bad references. Today, we'll be making Ozark references. So what Toad does, he'll just, he'll just non-stop shill his videos. Now, if you don't believe me, here's a quick little montage of all the shilling he has done for his video called The Flow's Rant. Responsibility for the consequences of those actions. Patience, frugality, 
sacrifice. When you boil it down, what do those three things have in common? Those are choices. Money is not peace of mind. Money is not happiness. Now, I, I want to cut that montage there because of a couple key facts. First off, I love how he tries to sweeten the deal for me, saying how he used all my tips. It's his best video. Like I'm going to watch it. Oh, all right. T to be honest, I got to give him some props, right? It was more structured, but uh, I still wouldn't watch it. Now, there is a video I would watch, and that's the brand new AVX sponsor read. AVX is the newest commentary organization, only made to finally break bad within the commentary community. Remember kids, use code Zeno to get 50% off the AVX merch. We're not gonna make merch. Actually, let me message Void and Asia real quick. And over. Like, he will shill anywhere, you know? DMs, servers, and if he can, he will use the ad everyone ping for that. Now, with this insane chilling of his own videos, he'll go out of his way to DM people his videos to ask if he's improved or not, so that others watch it for more views. Now, you do you, but like, after one video, I'm done, alright? I'm not watching another video. You know what? Let's watch a Toad is Forgotten video really quick. No way! Toad isn't uploaded in two weeks? Guys, this is insane. Make a video on snails. Okay, I'll check his stuff out. <coughs> I just realized the screen, I pa <laughs> I paused them, which is the fucking <laughs> He's can't, he's can't it. Alright, alright. Alright man, never mind. He's basically obsessed with himself at this point. Post editing Zeno here. I I have a beautiful screenshot of Ah uh, Toad having an ego. Also, what do you mean my ego has gone unchecked? I literally have no ego. And my friends this is of course bitterly ironic. Bro, I was forgotten in the bingo. He also quote tweeted me and said that I didn't include him in my bingo video, which is... Ah, oh, guys, no ego. I, I don't know what you're talking about, guys. No ego, whatever. You basically think that the entire world revolves around him at this point, which is absolutely fantastic, you know. Like, which is it? You have no ego? Or you care a lot about people that make videos on you? Another quick thing I want to touch on is that any quote tweet he has, he just deletes it. Now, there's two options. One, he realizes how what he tweeted was so retarded and he doesn't want that used against him. Or, it, yeah, it's, it's probably the first option. Also, I want to touch on some possible responses he'll have. And by possible, I mean so basic that they'll definitely happen. What was the point? I stopped doing that a long time ago. It was just a prank, bro. It, it was just a prank. My fine sir. Uh, let's just throw in he groomed me, even though to give him credit again, that's marginally lower. And then of course, you're sensitive, because everybody is sensitive. I'm pretty sure there's like a 50% chance he'll use all of them at the very same time, just to deal double damage and get double points in the brand new Call of Duty Zombies. If you do not have the same edgy and based opinion as the small commentary children, you are of course sensitive. Now, also, I want to tell you guys my favorite small child in the small commentary community. Now, me and the AVX Foundation are, of course, businessmen, not children. But my favorite is actually Toad is Xenosins. Of course, guys, that was a plot twist for the ages. But, uh, nah, T Toad bad. And I'll pass it back to Void or Adriel. Post editing Xeno here again, I was supposed to show Void and Adriel and me. After every sentence, so uh, subscribe to all of our channels, Prissy, please. Now that's out of the way, that's not it for Toad. Not only does he won't shut the fuck up about his content, he also has a remarkably large ego that is easily shattered when people call his content trash. Again, I would go on and on about how much of an egomaniac he is, but because I don't want to waste my breath on the most influential figure in the small commentary community, I will instead pass this to an American. Also, did you guys know that Americans eat rice with forks? I would firstly like to thank Fractional Void for dragging me out of my hiatus by forcing me at gunpoint to help him with this video. It truly means a lot to me. But anyways, yeah, this Toad guy, I don't really like his content. Goes out of control. You're an asshole.
I mean, even outside of creating content, he can sometimes be a little bit irritable. If he's not begging for you to watch every single one of his videos, he's more than likely trying to get attention by bothering you on Twitter or trying to start drama. It wouldn't be so sad if it weren't so glaringly obvious. The Flo's videos that I showed in this video, none of them were entertaining, he's just speaking in an annoying voice and that's coming from me. You know, after writing the script and, you know, speaking it out into the mic, I have no idea how he's gonna actually respond to this video. Oh wait, I already know exactly how he's gonna respond to this fucking video. But enough about Toad's annoying arrogance and ego, we're here to talk about content. And though I will admit that Toad's editing is decent and sometimes he'll have a joke that actually lands, his videos, they're plagued by instances of him making a subjective statement, but then he'll push it as though it's objective. And then on top of that, he'll provide literally nothing to back up his claims. All his videos are just him stating the obvious. I haven't even mentioned his TikTok videos where all he does is just take the moral high ground and also state the obvious even more. Okay, I don't really have a clip of it right now because I don't use TikTok since it's a shit app. But if you have TikTok, just search Flows 2.0. I'm pretty sure you're gonna find a video of him just stating the obvious and taking the moral high ground all the time. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously? My source, trust me bro, just, just take my word on it or I don't know, go find it and watch it yourself. You'll see what I mean, just trust me bro, trust me. I don't even know what he said, did he say he told a suicidal person to kill themselves? I don't fucking know. Okay bro, I will admit that is kinda fucked up, but like, dude, he's fucking 11 bro, give him a break. So Jay, you tell me that you haven't done anything wrong when you were younger? I mean fuck, when I was younger I used to push off like some kids off the fucking playground. SHUT UP! This kid is fucking 11 and you're like, like putting him on high expectations like don't say kill yourself to a suicidal person. Like sure it's fucking common sense but like dude he's fucking 11, chill. Toad, you do realize that to some extent common sense has to come from somewhere, right? Like it, 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 it has to, it has to be taught at some point, right? I mean, yeah, this prepubescent child is already developing terminally online habits that will probably continue to develop if no one tells him that they're wrong. But uh, I mean, he'll, he'll learn it eventually or something. Don't correct him on it. Who cares, right? screenshots from someone that I will not name. You've said the n-word multiple times. Oh my god, guys. He said n-word. Haha, <laughs> he's bad, guys. Like, nigga, who gives a fuck? As you can see in this video, right, all he does is just take the moral high ground. Like, I'm better than this kid. If he did this shit in the past, it'd be hypocritical, but I mean, I'm too lazy to actually look if he said the n-word or some shit. But if he did, then it'd be pretty hypocritical. Seriously? What a pathetic excuse of a point. I mean, I don't know if he said the n-word in the past, and I literally have no evidence of that, but, uh, I mean, if he did, I mean, it would be hypocritical, I mean, theoretically, if they did the thing that I have no evidence of them doing, I mean, it would pretty, it would be pretty messed up if they did that, but I mean, I have no evidence of them doing- Jesus Christ, no wonder people see small commentary as a joke. This is the content worth boasting over on Twitter? Toad talks about taking the moral high ground, ha, that's pretty funny because, uh, you know, he did, he did, uh, uh, at some point in the past, um, if he, if he himself took the moral high ground, I mean, that would be pretty hypocritical, I mean, I don't know what's the point of me saying that because I don't, I don't have any evidence of him doing that and everything I'm saying is hypothetical and I'm making it up on the spot with no evidence at all, but if Toad did ever take the moral high ground in the past, that would be hypocritical of him. Now... I hope that we can all agree that that take sounded pretty fucking stupid. Also, I love how simply calling out someone who did something that's genuinely morally questionable is immediately labeled as quote unquote taking the moral high ground. Like, what, what does that even mean? Does that invalidate like their point at all? Anyways, I think I've made my point. Once again, I'd like to thank Void for having me, and you should totally subscribe to his channel along with mine. Um, okay, tuning out. Now all the points are done, I would like to thank the British individual and the American for accepting my request to do this collab that will soon turn into a coalition. Hopefully Toad will not shut the fuck up and will stop asking people about his content on every chance he gets like his life depends on it. And maybe he will actually try to take the criticism and not brush it off and say that all the points that are being made are just saying that he's bad. Thanks for watching, stay tuned for more content from me and all the other individuals that are in the video, definitely check them out. 
I have been fractured. I'm not doing that fucking outro, man. Fuck off. Alright, bye.